Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's do this. We unlock the Polaroid. With the Polaroid, I have to try an Isaac run, right? Because if we beat... I mean, I know we have some characters that have some stuff left to do, but variety is the spice of life as well. Um, let's write this down here. ZZQJ. ZZQJ. E0. H0. Alright. ZZQH. I'll make sure I know those are Zs instead of twos, weirdly enough. The uh, mirror image of what we had last time. But as Isaac, if we beat Blue Baby, do we not just unlock the D6, the most mythical of all the items? So we're gonna be going for a straight up chest run here. It's been a while. It's been since vanilla. This is the Thrilla, but it ain't in vanilla. Book of Shadows is a pretty decent start for us. I mean, we can do a lot of good stuff with that item. And honestly, a bomb for two keys is a pretty smoking trade as far as I'm concerned. And I mean smoking in the Jim Carrey in the mask kind of way. Not smoking as in like, is that, is that smoke? Is this car okay? I don't know if we should maybe go on a family vacation where all the car's on fire. Anyway. Not that that's based on a true story or anything like that. So, we're going to be looking for uh, some incredible pickups. You know, it's a shame that we exhausted our Brimstone Mom's Knife quota for like the next six months uh, on the last two runs. But I'll take whatever needs to be taken to give ourselves the best chance possible here. Widow Fight is obviously a situation where I'm going to love using Book of Shadows. Widow Fight in general is uh, only a widow bit of trouble. <laughs> Let's move along. I always like it when the Widow crushes its own young. You know, it reminds you that uh, life is not fair. Almost broke into song. It came very close to breaking into song. It became more of like a little Boz Lerman type, uh, sing-songy type rap voice, which uh, is also my rap name. Boz Lerman sing-songy type rap voice. We're a collective. We're based out of, uh, based out of Portland. It's pretty weird. And you were finally dead. So the box is not really that good unless we get a great trinket, which we didn't really get. Or a good tarot card, which we did get. And a good pill, which we did get. Alright, in this case, the box is great. It's basically just like a much better HP upgrade for us. We have like probably one room available over here. But why not go to it because... Ooh, secret room. Oh, that could have worked out so serendipitously. But it didn't. I know we have some red hearts. I'm not going to walk on the spikes, though. I'd rather save our red hearts for the future. We're going to use the hero font right away because we want to make sure that we uh, give ourselves the best chance possible of getting a deal with the devil. You know what we haven't exhausted recently is your mother. Followed by that, Guppy. We haven't become Guppy in, uh, in a little while. Maybe it was so that we could become Guppy now. I see that there is a tinted rock over there. I don't believe there's any means for us to access that. Yet, Mom's pad is... Uh, Let's be honest, a major disappointment right now. I wonder if there's anyone in the army named Major Disappointment. I mean, Major's a pretty high rank. I'm gonna guess the answer to that is no. Disappointment, it's a, uh... I don't even know what nationality that would be. I want to say French, because it's got, like, mint at the end, but then it raises all sorts of, you know, accidental jokes. I hate the people, you know, and this isn't just because I have, you know, French ancestry a hundred generations back or whatever. Um... But I hate when people are like, French military victories, do you mean French military defeats? It's like one war, motherfucker! In, in World War II, you know, France fought valiantly but capitulated quickly. World War I, it was a fucking knockdown, drag out battle. Before that, you got like, Napoleon, like a hundred years prior to that, taking over almost all of Europe. Until all of Europe bands together against him. Dude's probably rolling over in his grave. What do you mean, uh, French military defeats? How did they lose their reputation? Well, you won freaking war, man! Don't perpetuate that ignorant kind of stereotype of the, you know, groundskeeper Willie, cheese eating surrender monkeys. You got a very proud military history if you're gonna be proud of your military. You know, France is up there, dog. Historically, maybe not recently, I don't know. That's one way to kill two monstros. Damn sure about that. A range upgrade is not what I want here, and Krampus, so, um, either way, this is a win for us. Not a, not a one run, obviously, but, uh, this, this fight in and of itself is a win for us. 
Just want to stay quiet in case he attacks, and I need to plan to get out of the way, which I failed to do. Um, if he gives us Lump of Coal, it's a free Lump of Coal. If he gives us Krampus's head, we will give up Book of Shadows for it. I think Book of Shadows is pretty good. Really good, maybe, even, with some of the other synergies in the game. But I do think Krampus's head is better, so we'll take it. And there it is. We gotta give ourselves the best chance possible here, so... This is, uh, this is solid. I, I regret bringing up that French military stuff already, by the way, because I know that now the comments are just gonna be, you know, jingoism and horseshit, but, uh, that's also the title of my first album. It's self-titled. Our band is also called Jingoism and Horseshit. Um, it's a Tom Waits-led all-percussion outlet, uh, from the outskirts of, uh, the Gambia. Okay, let's do this. Would I prefer Isaac's Fork or Matchstick? Probably Matchstick, honestly. Whoa, what the fuck, man? He spawned right on top of me. Isaac's Fork is, uh... It's decent. If you can find a way to lose Red Hearts, which it's not... I'm not trying to get cocky. But it's looking like we're probably not gonna find a way to lose Red Hearts anytime soon. And we really do need to find ways to lose Red Hearts. You know, we need Demon Judgments or Blood Banks or something like that to make it even functional. Uh, so... I'd rather take a surplus of bombs always than the occasional, maybe, uh, red heart that we probably aren't really urgently desiring. Okay, I, I made like the number one Isaac mistake of trapping myself in a corner, but amazingly did not take damage as a result. It's okay, we'll work our way out of this here. A couple more hits on each one of these should get us free. We didn't really take any damage at all there. Was it worth it for what we got I mean arguably no we got the matchstick and we didn't even really get the matchstick we got the matchstick in a trade for Isaac's or for yeah Isaac's fork um, you know it's not a straight up you know one for one or anything like that but whatever what's done is done it also gave us one third of a Krampus's head charge so put that in your pipe and fuck it now I could really use some damage and I, I'll take it from any source that we can get it the bean is not really what I had in mind. Uh, this is two kind of subpar item rooms in a row. Well, I mean, definitely subpar item rooms in a row because we haven't used either of the items, I think, but it's okay. I'm going to be saving Krampus' head, by the way, uh, for either a large room, at least because we're so early. You know, we're only in the caves one. I'll be saving it for either a large room or the boss room, whichever comes first, and we can probably get more than one use out of it. I picked up the... Why do I have the bean with me? Oh, my God. I do this so often in Rebirth where I, like, run into it and think that I've taken the item back, but I don't because you get... They give you, like, a period where you're guaranteed to be holding the item. It's a little weird. Well, it's not weird. It's just... It's new, and I'm still getting used to it. Best thing we've got going for us on this run is Krampus's head. The second best thing we've got going for us, weirdly enough, is probably that we have really good range. <laughs> We can, we can throw a ball. How much you want to bet I can throw a tear over them mountains? That's where we're at right now. And this is like the perfect Krampus' headroom. If only we could use Krampus' head a little bit more often. I mean, I'm not using it at all right now. Hey, that'll handle it straight up as well. Um, if we get like trickle charge or something like that. A little bit of AAA battery and a 9 volt along with it. And maybe, you know, like an ice cream sundae on the side. That's not an actual item. I could just really go for some dessert right now. I feel a little shaky. I'm not diabetic or pre-diabetic or anything like that, but I'm getting a little shaky, you know? So I'm thinking, one bomb. Knock the Fallen into his uh, the state where he splits apart. And then immediately, Krampus' his head the shit out of him. That really only gave us Guppy, Guppy's Collar and no deal with the devil. Well, how can I be disappointed? I did ask to become Guppy on this run. This is a start towards that uh, that goal. I don't know if we're gonna get there, but it's a start. I gotta apologize. I keep putting on this, uh, this, not really an accent, but I was gonna say a different method of speaking, which I guess, you know, that's an accent, dog. It's because I've been watching a little bit of Good Mythical Morning. Those guys, oh, I should have tried to push that the other way, but anyway, those guys are funny. And also, I think they're, they're from like the Midwest, like, I was gonna say Colorado. People always get mad at me when I call it Colorado, the Midwest. Montana, something like that, and, uh, I think I'm picking up some of their mannerisms, which is the sign of good content, I'd say. 
You know, I know that some of you out there, you watch this and then you tweet me and you say, I've started calling all my friends scum. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't blame you. Anybody that would hang out with you probably deserves a name like that. We're going to uh, bomb our way into <sighs> the curse room so we can enter it for free. Sounds like somebody's mother, I know. Maybe get a guppy item, or maybe we could just engage in fisticuffs with like, you know, six spiders? Seven, if you do, if you count these as three instead of two, I guess. I'm not happy with this floor because we didn't get a deal with the devil, and I thought we earned one. Gosh darn it. But, oh, we'll use a key to check out our, uh, ooh, to check out our shop as well. Who knows, maybe a half price item? Oh, I need that nun's habit. I don't know, I, don't, I should have saved some bombs for this donation machine. Yeah, there's no way we're getting it. Oh well. You know, Nun's Habit, Krampus' Head is good. It's not soul-crushingly bad that we can't get it, though. I can live with it. Let's head down to the next floor. Yeah, this floor was okay, but a little disappointing. We're really going to be banking on a deal with the devil here. Like, like crazy, basically. Um, you know what? Yeah. Let's try a little bit of a different approach on this floor. Maybe we'll try using Krampus's head as soon as it becomes available until we know where the boss room is, and then maybe we can start talking about, you know, doing that differently. So we will probably, honestly, go to that area and, and pick up... There's like 12 cents over there or something silly like that. One spirit heart for 12 cents in reverse? I think it's a pretty good trade. Uh, not if you're one hit away from dying. We could also take two hits if we don't get out of there quickly, but, you know, I, I trust us to, to make the proper, uh, you know, precautions there. We have an arcade, though, so we really might not even need to sacrifice spirit hearts to to pick up money. Money should kind of just flow to us via our own plasma that we are donating to a blood bank, in case the, um, the analogy or the metaphor was laid on a little thin for you guys there. Really? You're just gonna block me in here so I'm not even able to hit your friend over here? Well... Well, unluckily for you, I picked up uh, about 153,000 range upgrades earlier on this run. So sucks to your ass, Mar. Let's see if we can get to 15 cents. So, okay, that's also fine. I don't like that we don't get a speed upgrade out of it anymore. Um, it's not an enormous deal. But I'd prefer to get the Spirit Heart. Umbilical Cord is not worth a key. Common Cold! You always do a little bit of a, a gut check when you walk in there. Wait a minute, is that Bob's brain? It's not Bob's brain. Common Cold is a good pickup. It, it can be part of a winning run. It's, it's usually like a, you know, it's not your Michael Jordan or your LeBron James type item. It's more of like a, uh, you know, a, um, a Kirk Maltby, if I can actually refer to a sport that I am a little bit more familiar with in ice hockey. It's not the Pavel Datsyuk that's doing the dirty dangles out there on the ice. He's the guy, you know, chipping it in uh, now and then, getting you those game-winning goals in overtime. So, Converter is amazing. I would stick with Krampus's head in the future, but if we could abuse the shit out of Converter and get two or three HP upgrades and then roll with Krampus's head, that's worth the 15 cents plus whatever our Spirit, Heart co spirit Hearts cost to make it happen. But, first, uh, if possible, we should fight the boss with these spirit hearts as spirit hearts because that gives us a substantially better chance of getting a deal with the devil, which we really could use. But hey, take a deal with the devil, maybe get some spirit hearts somehow out of it, and uh, like maybe we get squeezy on this boss, then we turn those spirit hearts into HP upgrades to replace the HP upgrades that we lost. So I did take damage, but it's, um, it's not red heart damage, at least not yet. But normally I would expect to not take any damage against Mega Fatty Regardless, so to take two hits while using Krampus' head is a big disappointment for me. You know, I'm, I'm questioning my uh, my lot in life right now. If you could please actually, like, yeah, there we go. Some actual poison damage feels pretty good. Mostly we need, like, actual tear damage. We can get that via the uh, Guppy transformation. It won't actually give us tear damage, but it'll give us, you know, way more DPS uh, as a result of the fact that we'll just be generating flies, but... Like, sincerely, Mega Fatty should not take this long. And we've learned something. You can't get hit by Mega Fatty's beam there, which I think is sensical. But I was worried about it. Concerned. Speedball. Not what we wanted. Holy Mantle. Great item. It's not a deal with the devil. But Holy Mantle is very good. And I did take one too many hits, so now I probably... I, I would have to buy that Spirit Heart. Well... 
We can obviously abuse the shit out of Holy Mantle here to do stuff like this. Wheel of Fortune, we can explode for some money. Uh, additionally, there's that room back here that had so much money. We'll obviously take a crack at that bad boy now. And rather than being a hero... Yeah, we'll just like make sure that we're getting enough of it every time. We don't have to get all of it. There we go. That was really good. And uh, definitely blow all these up because I want the spirit hearts. Oh my god, none of them had- Oh, but we had a Goopy's Paw. So this is amazing because Guppy's Paw plus- uh, Guppy's Paw plus the Convoida gives us basically 10 HP. Maybe not basically, like it might literally give us 10 HP. I just- I always forget the specifics. So the way that we want to do this is we, um, like convert- We want to have like an even number. That's four and a half. Convert, convert. And we don't want to waste any here, but then we do this, and then we convert, convert, and I think we can only get to ten. This will probably take us to nine. That's eight. We convert and convert, and this might be it, actually. That's nine. No, we should be able to get one more. I'm an idiot with this sometimes. Do I just use one more here? Yeah, okay, now we can do this. And if we could just get like one more spirit heart in addition to this bullshit setup that we've got. We are two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy as you can tell uh, as well, but um... If we j could just get one more spirit heart, we could buy that other spirit heart, and then we would get to 11 HP, which is just stupid. <laughs> like, that's just silly. I'm happy about it, but it's a real silly turn of events. Um, it's, it's one of the... One of the best synergies in the game, and people are always like, oh, it's broken. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just, you know, you're not super likely to have it. But we seem to get it kind of a lot. <laughs> Let's try to use uh, this in a location where we could also maybe get a secret room out of it. Ain't that a kick in the groin? Kick in the groin of the groinies kitchen. Doesn't really make any sense. Uh, we need a spirit heart if possible. It's okay. I think we're just gonna go. I think we're gonna not worry about getting to 11 HP via the converter. I think we're gonna be very happy with our current situation. I think we're gonna move on. We picked up a guppy item, we picked up holy mantle, and we raised our HP by like 8 or something stupid like that. I think we've maybe lost our chance at the boss rush mode, but we've already gotten that done as Isaac. Maybe we haven't lost our chance, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you could pick up a good item there, but... You also probably have to fight the enemies. Alright, so Curse Rooms are free now. And Guppy Rich, that's Goathead. Goathead is probably going to give us a great chance of becoming Guppy. What do we got here? Oh, High Priestess. Good card. Happy to have it. Can't open that uh, golden chest now because I used a bomb to obviously access uh, that explosive chest. But hey, this is going to take forever. So the one thing I do want to point out is that, in spite of the fact that we picked up a lot of great advantages on the last floor, we're still in this little bit awkward position where we're not really doing very much damage at all. Like, at all, at all. This room is Krampus's head city, by the way, where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Unfortunately, Krampus's head is not ready, so we can't take anybody home. Where are you going, though? They're not all dead? Oh, there's one right down here. You thought you could sneak away, you little sneaky, sneaky heart. Thought maybe we just describe it as literally what it is. No, thank you, sir. I am not interested in subscribing to your newsletter because I have a run that I like and I don't really know what you do. Oh, unlimited keys. Well, I wish I knew that mere moments ago. That was super not worth a, a head charge, by the way. Bogo bombs, I think, is. Well, it's not worth the head charge. That doesn't make any sense, but it's worth the money. It's going well. Now we're not gonna have a, we're not gonna have a head charge for our boss fight if we continue this way. But we will have high priestess, which is like pretty good in and of itself. Are we gonna, are we gonna do this, or are we just gonna go fight in one more room, then get a Krampus's head? Because a Krampus's head charge plus high priestess would just sort this right out. 
I'm worried that we're fighting Mask of Infamy. In fact, I'm gonna go on record and say that it, I guarantee we're fighting Mask of Infamy here. What did I tell you? You know what? I'm content with this. Although, if we did have Krampus' head, this would already be over. I tried to put down a bomb there. I thought I was real clever about it, too. I'll just press the E button and nobody will be the wiser. Don't jump, you dick muncher. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just land a little bit of poison up in there, and uh, if we're able to do that with... I mean, I'm really glad we had High Priestess, because, uh, you know, as you might be able to notice, our actual tier damage is not particularly strong right now, but the damage over time, you know, it whittles. That's what it does. It's like an old man on a on a porch. It whittles. Yells at the neighbors. Should be a deal here of some kind. Yeah, HP upgrade, which is just becoming comical. And the Buble. Okay, so here's the deal. I was going to blow up uh, the statues, but we don't need to. And I was going to do it in order to get the... Uh... We haven't been to our item room yet. Okay. In order to uh, see if there were spirit arts there. But what's the point? I'm going to save our Krampus' head for maybe a better situation. Ooh, a little risky. I, again, give up on the boss rush mode. We're not going to do it. Unless we unless we do it naturally, which is looking unlikely. See you later, my friend. <clears throat> I can't believe that after buying BOGO bombs, we've gotten zero bombs. That seems to be a situation that happens with alarming regularity. Yeah, we're not going to boss rush. That's okay. Let's, let's just uh, erase that potential thought from our minds. If you have to... Yeah, I'll take Mom's Pearl for sure. Although it only gives us like two spirit hearts. Oh, magnetic tears. So am I happy about this? Am I sad about this? I'm not taking Mom's Pearl, by the way, because we um, don't need to. Is maybe the way that I'm trying to describe that. Um, we can only get a maximum of two hearts out of it. Who cares? You know, we're better off maybe getting a better chance at the BOGO bombs or something. So I, I think magnetic tears might fuck us here. So I'm just going to leave... Uh, basically, I'm, I'm still following my Isaac rule, which is, if it shows up, take it. Could be fun. Magnetic Tears, I've had some good luck with. I've had some good runs with them. And I've also had some runs that were a little bit scary. But I think it could work out very nicely for us. If we became Guppy and our we were spawning flies like crazy, then the Magnetic Tears would suck enemies into them and maybe it would make them easier to hit or something. I don't know. I know a lot of people have already taken the position that they're not, um, they're not touching the guppy, or not, they're not touching the magnetic tears. I, I disagree. I've had, like, magnetic shielded tears have given me some of my best run. Well, one of my best runs. I still don't know what three does. I think it rerolls all the items on the room, so I could have walked over that, I guess. Like a bomb for sale here? No? All right, well, we don't have any money anyway, so I guess we'll just be leaving. Yeah, very tempting, but uh, how about, uh, no. Down to the next floor. This is a weird run, because I feel like I'm basically at no risk of death. Yet at the same time, I, uh... Don't really feel like I'm all that strong. Holy Mantle puts me in a crazy position. I'm being kept alive by, like, some kind of psychotic torturer or something like that for nefarious later uses. Can't die, but also can't really do any damage of my own. You should, like, super be dead, dog. Thank you. Super be dead, dog. Coming this fall to steam. There you are. Easy room. We finally got some bombs. Uh, okay. With Holy Mantle, I figured we were going to be fine there. That's so bad. The fact that that was... Good, thought it was good, but is actually terrible, is so terrible. Um, oh, right, magnetic tears. Oh, right, magnetic tears. Oh, snap, I don't know, man. That Hematomesis card might have fucked us more than we know. We're very, we're very lucky that we have Holy Mantle. There's just no question about that. Like, that Demon Judgment is super tempting. That Demon Judgment is super tempting. Oh, can't use Holy Mantle to cheese that guy. Admit it, you were thinking it. The only reason you weren't thinking it would be if you had tried it yourself. 
So don't give me that, horse hockey. I think this is worth it. We'll see, though. Bomb and a key to pick up. A lot of money. Yeah, that was like maybe eight cents. Now, I don't have to be as nervous as I normally would be, or as anxious, I should say. Um, because we have... Yeah, we have Holy Mantle, so... A lot of my, my thinking about this right now kind of boils down to, like, how many rooms are going to hit me more than once. This Gurgling's room is is one such, uh, one such fucker. Potentially. We haven't, we've been hit once, but we haven't been hit more than once. So it doesn't matter. Okay, we made it out. That feels good. Come here, please. Thank you. This is gonna be tight, even though, like, just getting through this floor is gonna be tight-ish. Oh, I really thought I could walk over that creep in time before my own invincibility ran out. That is, like, a really good example of how hematomesis can actually be, like, the worst pill in the game under certain circumstances. I really wish we could play that Demon Judgment for free. I know it would be like super gamey, but at the same time, that's kinda, you know, that's why you're playing Rebirth. So that you can get those super silly, you know, synergies sometimes that do totally break the game in your favor. Well, as long as we have mobility on this room, it's not so bad. I thought for sure that was Sacred Heart. So I believe explosions heal you when you have Pyromaniac, or at least they have a chance to heal you. I wish there was a way I could find out um, without putting myself too much in harm's way. Well, you know what? It would be a useful tool to learn. Oh, he, he just went straight over the spikes. All right. Yeah! Oh, he turned around at Spike City. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You're gonna come over here, mate? Take a ride on the Spike Express? Oh, wait. Don't you worry. I will be here when you choose to make your move. You're not taking damage from that, huh? That surprises me. Any Anytime you want to make a move, you let me know, Chubb. I'll be here. Well, this would also be another way for us to find out if explosions healed us. I don't care if we fight greed. We got Krampus' head. Man, okay, PhD and uh, Compass are both pretty good. Yeah, blow that up, please. I'll fight you. I don't care, mate. So if, if we get the cash, I would, I would love to pick up... Uh, well, I'd love to pick up both of them. But let's be honest, that's not happening. What a very strange run. Like, yeah, sometimes we have to move to trigger the enemies to move. We are going to get a deal with the angel after the mom fight. We'll also have the option to pick up Polaroid, I assume. But uh, the, uh, the deal with the angel after the mom fight... I mean, unless we get something along the lines of Sacred Heart. Oh, it does heal us! I totally just stood there in that explosion. I wonder if we could, maybe it gives us a chance to heal. Like, what if we tried something like this? Oh my god, and with, uh... With Holy Mantle, we get unlimited HP. As long, we get unlimited HP as long as we have bombs. Which is where Matchstick Bogo Bombs comes into play. I'm a genius. Okay. Um, this should allow us to play the shit out of our, uh, Demon Judgment, too. There's our secret room. Oh, some more bombs? Don't mind if I do! Oh, boy! Well, I don't really want to take any of these pills until I, you know, get enough money to buy PhD. Will I buy PhD instead of the compass? I don't know, dog. I should have been healing myself here. You gotta forgive me, it's a hard habit to get into. Alright. More money, please. We have enough bombs to heal ourselves a few times. Wonder if I could like use a bomb 
explode myself across some rocks or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, come on. Well, we can blow up our donation machine. That'll give us enough. And I'll make sure I'm healing myself while I'm blowing up the donation machine. A second two of spades. Don't mind if I do. Emperor. Good card. Getting a little scared of our low HP. Justice. All right. That gives me more, more HP in a couple of different ways here. Oh, trickle charge. Is that better than the matchstick, considering our circumstances? Maybe. It lowers the charge time on uh, on Krampus's head by one room, which I think could conceivably be worth it. And we're, I think we've, we've managed to sneak out a weird kind of potential victory here, which I'm a big fan of. What do we go for? I think because we've got so many pills, we go for PhD instead of the compass. That's my that's my philosophy at least. Oh, okay. That's good luck. But if we go super hard for it, we actually might be able to get both. Also drop the pill for us. Oh, paralysis. Yeah, that's really good. Thanks PhD. So we're investing a lot like a lot of lost money from our donation machine, at least, into uh, buying this compass, but I do think it's very worth it. Let's go back and see what these remaining pills were. And then we'll go fight our boss, and we're nearly at full HP. Range up, okay, that's something. I can see forever. Pheromones, pheromones, that's really bad. We'll use I can see forever, and uh, that gives us a shortcut. We could find our second secret room, and we did. And it's hookworm, which we don't give a crap about. Uh, sure, let's do it, Mom. Probably not the first time you've heard that expression. <laughs> Talking about your mom. Now, um, this fight's not going fantastically thus far. I'm not sure if you noticed, but we're doing next to no damage to these enemies. What I would not give to have Krampus's head. The gimpy payout worked out for us there. Okay, here we go. We gotta... I almost gave up on this fight, to be honest. I was almost like, oh, so we're just fucked then. The red mom fight would be so much easier here. We gotta get, like, poison damage done. Oh, what? Mom's heart crushing us heals us? Let's test that. Okay. Alright, I, I would go out on a limb and say we're probably gonna win this. Mom's... Mom's foot plus goat head seems like a pretty nice combination for us. You might want to watch out for the silkworm there, mate. So this fight is going to take a hundred years. There's just no two ways about that. Um, that's because we deal no damage. I think I've, I've mentioned the whole damage thing uh, multiple times in the past. You may have noticed me discussing that ad nauseum and said, Why is this nerd complaining about his damage? when he's got such a good run. Hmm, I wonder. Probably just uh, likes to complain. It's not like he's actually having a run where he's doing no damage or something like that. I will say that on this run, I do think it is gonna be nearly fudging impossible to kill us. We have Holy Mantle. We have uh, Pyromaniac. We have uh, Bogo Bombs, you know? We've got Krampus's head that already does a lot of damage in and of itself. We're in a pretty good spot. Getting healed every time mom's foot falls on us is pretty funny. I cannot tell a lie. Sweet relief, we're almost halfway through the fight here. I didn't get healed quite as much as I thought I would there. Um, I don't know how this fight works later in the game. Uh, or not at this fight specifically, obviously. But I don't know how like enemies with lots of HP are going to work later in the game. But for right now, uh, I'm not feeling too bad about beating mom. If more feet could come down from the sky, that'd be thank, thank you very much. Much appreciate the full health. In fact, we can actually just farm for spirit arts, but there's kind of no point because we already have 11 HP. So really, we'd just be farming to pick up 
one spirit heart. But my god, would it kill you to drop a fucking damage upgrade? Imagine how much faster this fight would be. Let's not even talk about the pentagram and stuff like that. Imagine how much faster this fight would be if we had, um, you know, magic, or not magic scab, but like blood clot. Did we just take damage from mom's foot? That doesn't seem right. You might want to check your figures up there, mom. I'll wait. All right, that healed us. Okay, business as usual. Now, if I could just make... the Oh, Red Mom would have been so easy then. You know what else would make this very easy? And I'm amazed we don't have one, and rarely will I complain about this, but we don't have an orbital. An orbital would actually speed this fight up so much. Oh, you got me, Mom. Yeah, you're really putting it to me. I imagine you talking at the water cooler. I don't know how he isn't dead. I've hit him like 40 times. He must be on the ropes. I'm not even touching the ropes, lady. Thanks for the HP. The free spirit hearts. This is, this is uh, uproarious. A barrel of laughs, says uh, David Travers. Peter Travers, my mistake. Please uh, drop your foot on my head. I'd like to leave this floor with full HP. And this is why Krampus' head is a big deal for us. If we didn't have it, we would, uh, this would basically be our life on every room. Well, I'd say it's fair to say we're probably not going to be beating uh, Mom within 20 minutes. That's okay. I'll wait, you know. I'm, I'm just happy that we're going to win here. Not every Isaac run is created the same. Remember that really laborious uh, boss trap or boss rush room we got into that one time? This is rivaling that for, like, lamest fight I think we've had in Rebirth thus far. But if we get a deal with the Angel and it gives us Sacred Heart, all is saved, all is forgiven. I don't even know what else we could want. I, like, are there other good offensive, uh... Offensive, uh, angel room items? I don't know. This is all... Here's how bad this is. It almost makes me wish that I had given up Krampus's head to take the Bible. Perfect timing. One more hit should kill you. We did it. We're gonna take the Polaroid. That was fun. And we got an HP upgrade for our trouble. That's just comical. Well, we can use the Emperor card later. For now, I'm just content to not be there anymore. You know that movie, Anywhere But Here? That's how I feel about this run right now. Uh, we'll go up, yeah. Watch that. Uh, Could have killed all of them. But I have Holy Mantle. Seriously, with Holy Mantle? Just give me an orbital. I'll fight death for the right to have an orbital. Just give me an orbital so I can actually deal some damage. This is comical. What's up, Kate? Alright, after this run, we will go grocery shopping. Kate, you want to hear this? what the story of this run is right now? I didn't ask for your last story. Wow, that's rude! Why didn't you say that to the the marriage official when we when we sealed our hands in holy matrimony? Wow. That would have been that would have been rude then too. Mm. So I have I have Krampus's head. How do you feel about that item? Good. It's real good. You are correct. I have max HP in red hearts. That doesn't happen that often. I've got holy mantle. Yeah. I've got goat head. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got magnetic tears. Oh no. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. Um. But the crux of it is I've got Pyromaniac. Do you know what Pyromaniac does? No. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, maybe in a minute here I'll show you. You know, maybe these enemies are being, well, I, I want to wait for a room where I have Holy Mantle. Okay, I'll, you know what, I'll just tell you. Okay. It makes it so that bombs and explosions heal you. Ah. So if you have bombs, you get to, uh, you get to heal yourself whenever you want. Now that being said, you, how many damage items did I mention there? Zero. Because the mom's heart fight just took me, like, maybe 11 minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a... It's a wild one. But the goat head lets us get every deal with the angel. So if we just get sacred heart, it's great. Or a guppy item. Just get a D6? That's what I... If I, if I beat blue baby on this run, I think I do unlock the D6. Oh, 
Oh shit! I know, right? Raise your hype, chat. Okay, don't raise your hype yet, because it takes us 15 minutes to kill these things. That is why I hate that oh. tier. It like affects them. Yeah, it's <laughs> just give me an orbital, man. Did that heal me? Yeah. Okay. I knew you'd be paying attention. I didn't notice. I'm a good student. That's true. Taking a note here. <laughs> All right. Please go. Okay, I gotta save Krampus's head. Cause I've learned my lesson. If you don't take Krampus's head into the boss fight, you know, pack a lunch. You're gonna be there all day. This this is my default damage. This late in the game, it's comical. Go to the double key room. It's uh, it's one of the reroll rooms. I don't want to reroll the run though, cause it's so hard for me to die. You like this guy? I think sometimes he's easy. Sometimes he's real annoying. Like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> What is that? That's the monster. What? Oh my god. You have to be such a dick about it, Mr. Fred. I just, I'm demanding that the game gives me an orbital. <laughs> I can't take this purgatory anymore. Oh my god. And now I've used all my bombs, I can't even heal myself. What are, you, what are you up to? Studying Binding of Isaac Reaper. Yeah? It's very weird, but I almost feel like a little self-conscious that you're here. Not that you're the reason I'm doing really terribly on this Mr. Fred fight, but uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling a little self-conscious, I gotta admit. Alright, you can watch this on youtube.com slash northern lion. <laughs> In a day or two, you can, you can suffer along with me here. Oh, these explosions should heal me, right? I should wait until they fire. Shoot some bombs at me. That didn't heal me, did it? No, you don't understand. Use the bombs. The bomb attack. Oh, it does heal me. Okay, so I should be able to farm my way back up to full HP. Shoot the bomb, please. Thank you. Oh, this is, uh, this is some riveting gameplay. I'm having a great time. I don't know about you guys. Loving life right now. I might as well do some damage to Mr. Fred in the process here. I would like to leave this fight with full HP. I would like for it to not take 25 years. Why are you doing that attack? Do the one where you shoot the bomb. That one's harder to dodge anyway. You should be doing that one on principle. Just, oh, and then we got hit immediately after. Bomb attack, bomb attack. No, okay. Look, I've got to apologize here, but at the same time, it's not like I've had any choice in the matter. If you know anything about the way I play Binding of Isaac, I love giving up HP to pick up damage. It's one of my prevailing strategies in the game, no question about it. However, we're not really having much of an opportunity to do that. Uh, on this run, we didn't have any opportunities to do that as far as I know, which is why I so desperately wanted a, a, a one last guppy item to show up basically and it's chosen not to and now this is the situation we find ourselves in Once mr. Fred is dead if the other things don't die we can just sit back and farm them for a little bit But it's gonna take a while to make that happen Yes, thank you Why do you take so long to do your freaking? Like, explosion attack. Just do the explosion attack. It's the best attack you got. It's your fucking secret weapon, dog. Shoot the bomb. They never shoot the bomb anymore. All right, here we go. Let's get some side-to-side -side damage going here. Yep, I uh, was pretty confident that was going to happen. If this deal with the angel room gives me a fucking eternal heart, I'm going to have an aneurysm, probably. I may actually keel over and die right here. I'm only half joking. Shoot the explosion. Thank you. And then immediately we take damage afterward. Twice after, actually. We could still lose this. Which is so sad, but also kind of fitting, to be honest with you. Because I don't want to live on this freaking planet anymore with this run. Thank you. 
Thank you. Did we actually stream together some HP, uh, some health there? Right at the end of this fight as well? Oh, you're too kind, game. You really are. You're too good to me. Oh, I, that was bad. Could have made that better. Exp explosion? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, fudge. Yes. Yes. No. Mr. Fred's dead. Fred's dead, baby. We need that spirit heart. Explosions. Do the fucking explosion attack. Oh my god. We can't do anything with that spirit heart because we've got too much HP. Just whatever you do, don't fucking hit Q. Okay. If Oh my god. If you think I'm not going to sit here and do this, by the way, you're out of your freaking gourd, matey. Heal me, please. I'm so close to just abandoning this. And people are probably shouting at me to do so, but if I don't do this, it makes me kind of an idiot. It has to be done. We don't need all of our HP, but... Oh my god. A decent chunk of it, at least. You have to be so close to the explosion to get healed. Like, way closer than to just get hit. Oh my god. What is this fucking purgatory? Is this what Scott Stapp wrote about when he when he wrote my own prison? I'm losing my mind here. Oh my god. No, you know what? We're just going to sit about here and think about sit here and think about what we've done. I'm not even mad at myself. I'm just pissed off. <laughs> that run. Never run, man. I'm mad. I'm not gonna do another run. I just wanna walk into an item room and watch it be a damage upgrade. Fuck. Even that would have been great. I think we had luck for now's last run. Two runs ago. Oh, that's gonna do it. I'm mad. I genuinely, like, I'm putting on a smile and I'm saying, I'm mad, haha. -ha. But deep down inside, I, I need some time to think about how that run went down. If only we'd gotten one deal with the devil that actually was good. One more guppy item. Oh, that could have been so not horrible. But, as is, thanks for watching. I know many of you won't en have enjoyed that episode, and I apologize for it. I know some of you will enjoy it for the schadenfreude. That's okay, too. At least I got a story out of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.